Hii ni Fulshangwe TV. Habari zaidi. On behalf of Her Excellency Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and the Commander-in-Chief, may I take this dignified opportunity to communicate her cordial appreciation to His Excellency Xi Jinping, the President of the People's Republic of China and Chairman of the Central Military Commission, the leadership of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, I mean CPLA, together with the good office of Her Excellency, the Ambassador of the Chinese Embassy in Dar es Salaam, for facilitating the conduct of this joint military exercise between Tanzania's People Defense Forces and Chinese People's Liberation Army, I mean TPDF and CPLA. Dear generals and distinguished delegates, over the past 60 years of friendship, the amicable cooperation between the two nations have flourished and proven to be beneficial across all spheres of human existence, forming comprehensive patterns encompassing trade, financial investments, joint efforts in industrial advancement, infrastructure development, agriculture, and healthcare. Militarily, the relationship between TPDF and TPLA cannot be easily explained. For those who are not aware, most of TPDF equipment are Chinese made. Not only that, but also the construction of Kigamboni Naval Base, Gerengere Air Force Base, Tanzania Military Academy, CTC Mapinga, here where we are, and the National Defense College, to mention a few had Chinese efforts on them. Holistically, we thank so we thank you so much. To cement our military cooperation, several joint military exercises between the two armed forces have been conducted. This includes exercise Transcend 2013, exercise the passing 2014, and exercise Transcend 2023. Apart from the strengthening our cooperation, the exercise, exercises have been elevated our knowledge and skills pertaining to various aspects of military in nature. This year's exercise is more than previous exercises as it marks 60 years of coming together of our two forces. It further signifies the various challenges the two friends have faced and triumphed. Since the two forces harbor a common goal of enabling global peace and security, at the broader spectrum, the exercise reminds the whole world of these noble tasks. History has taught mankind the necessity of combining efforts to combat a common challenge. Challenges of terrorism, human trafficking, pirates, proliferation of small arms, drug trafficking, and the like have proven to be transnational without a respect of political boundaries. Therefore, joint exercises like Exercise Amani Umoja 2024 are not only important but also necessary to enhance international cooperation while promoting interoperability to sustainably face these ever-growing challenges. Furthermore, joint exercises promote the ability to collectively maintain regional stability with a unified, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable security approaches. It also improves our capacity in conducting counter-terrorism operations and pirate efforts, safeguarding maritime security, combating illegal fishing, and diversifying strategies in addressing contemporary emerging security threats through multidimensional approach. Dear generals and distinguished delegates, in realizing those exercise potentials, please allow me to commend the good job that has been demonstrated by the joint team that prepared the exercise. Without their commitment and meticulous undertaking, the exercise could not be ready today. As a part of celebrating of 
60 years of TPDF, the CPLA Medical Ship at Peace Doctor in Dar es Salaam Harbor to provide free medical services to thousands of Tanzanians. May I take this opportunity moment to air my sincere and profound appreciation to the CPLA for that generosity. I assure you, you have left a huge mark on Tanzanians' hearts due to that gesture. The joint exercise scheduled to commence today is divided into two main phases. The, phase, the first phase, known as the C stage, is set to unfold in the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, encompassing the regions of Dar es Salaam, Puan, Tanga, Lindi, and the Mtwa. The other side, the land stage exercise is set to take place in the general vicinity of Mapinga training area commencing on 29th, I mean today, on June 2024, and the culmination will be on the 11th of August 2024. It is my sincere hope that, given the extensive preparations made by both forces, the upcoming exercise will be conducted in a cordial setting where all participants will exhibit mutual respect. Hii ni Fulshangwe TV. Habari zaidi.